oblique, hairy caterpillars or processionary caterpillars in Spain also known as the pine caterpillar. These usually come out to play around October till February time. You know when the caterpillar season has started by the collection of cotton wool like balls in the pine trees. These are the processional caterpillar nests. The nests start small but very quickly grow after only a few days to the size of a football. The caterpillars come out to feed as the temperature cools in the evening but they can still be found in the heat of the day. They are easy to spot on the ground, they walk nose to tail, sometimes thousands of caterpillars marching in a single file line, a fantastic but deadly sight. They hibernate during the summer months and can stay in the ground for up to four years until the temperature is again right for them to come out. They do not bite or sting but are covered in very fine hairs which they shed instantly they are disturbed. These fine hairs are suddenly airborne and if they touch someone's skin a rash will form within just a few minutes spreading through the entire area. Animals are very prone to them, the hairs getting lodged into their nose and throat causing suffocation. We have known for some time many caterpillars can cause irritation by discharging body hairs or can defend themselves by releasing vile smelling secretions. Some are even known to be poisonous if ingested. But until Lanamia came along we had not been exposed to a caterpillar able to release such catastrophic toxins that could easily kill us. Humans and Lanamia first attracted international press when an epidemic occurred. Medical staff were mystified at first after they received a score of patients with the same symptoms. Hematoma and gangrene like symptoms spreading throughout the body eventually causing massive blood leakage into the brain and in several cases death. Snake bite was suspected at first but obviously no bite marks were found and no patients reported being struck or bitten by one of the many venomous reptiles or insects. But gradually a picture emerged of people saying that they had just cleared a bunch of leaves and branches in the garden. Doctors began exploring the territory they had mentioned and came across one creature that commonly appeared, the Lanomia caterpillar. On examination, this curious caterpillar camouflaged itself by means of many plant-like hair growths all over its body. Each tiny clump of hairs had a very sharp-like spine sticking out which easily and painlessly punctured the skin of a human or predator that came into contact with it. They had found the mysterious assassin, the caterpillar. Further studies isolated the agents in the toxins contained in a sac at the base of each spine. It was the strongest anti-clotting agents ever found in nature. The surrounding tissue was full of bruised blood. Huge hematomas spread over the surface and the interior organs of the body. Eventually the brain causing massive compression and brain death. In fact more recent statistics have revealed that as many as 500 people or more have died as a result of coming into contact with lanomia. Investigation also found that the caterpillars were only dangerous if seized in large numbers rather like grabbing a bunch of stinging nettles. To produce the deadly hematomas the victim would need from between 20 to 100 stings from the spines. The caterpillar is an attractive little thing to look at as is most poisonous and venomous life forms. They want to show their presence, hopefully to be left alone in peace. Others instinctively believe their reputation precedes them in the wild and will not be molested except by some insensitive animal that's lost all remnants of survival it once possessed and of course knows no better. 
and we all know who that is.